one, I'm Edja. Today I want to teach you the rhythm of English, that is, intonation. For most people who speak English as their second language, there is a problem that is very common. The problem is that they speak English in a flat way. For example, they will say, what is your name? But the native English speakers will say, what is your name? It can be seen easily that the native English speakers speak English in a rhythm, that is intonation. So, what is intonation? First, let me show you a video about it. Today's podcast is an introduction to intonation, an English pronunciation lesson. Speaking and understanding English doesn't just come from using correct grammar and vocabulary. Native English speakers convey meaning in their sentences with pitch. The ups and the downs and the musical notes of their sentences. For example, the following two sentences contain the same words, but is there a difference in meanings? Number one. She got a dog. Number two, she got a dog. In these two simple sentences, the focus word of the sentence, the word that gets the most emphasis, is dog. But what happens with the sound of the focus word? In sentence one, the intonation went down to indicate the completion of the thought. She got a dog. In sentence two, the intonation went way up to indicate surprise. She got a dog? The patterns of ups and downs of your voice and your pitch on and after the focus word, which is usually at the end of a sentence or question, is called intonation. more alive but not boring. There are three sentences and we can 
practice daily twice. I will have two pencils, a black pen, and some ink. I will have two pencils, a black pen, and some ink. We went to Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, and London. We went to Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, and London. I saw Esther, Jane, Neil, and Susan. I saw Esther, Jane, Neil, and Susan. Now it's our time to use intonation for fun. I found two lyrics, and you can see there's two different colors here. After I read, can you tell me the names of these two different colors? The first is, there once was a young lady named Bright, whose speed was much faster than light. She sat out one day in a relative way and returned on a previous night. The second is, Count Flip Shoe must be a roots. And since kids these days actually choose, it's a very strange fact to dress up like dad, bell bottom pants, and big clunky shoes. So, can you tell me the two meanings of these two different colors? Yes, red means falling intonation, and night means rising intonation. So, let's try together to read these two lyrics. The first, there once was a young lady named Bright, whose feet was much faster than light. She sat out one day in a relative way and returned on previous night. The second one, come be it true, must be a ruse. It seems kids these days actually choose. It's a very strange fact to dress up like that, bell bottom pants and big khaki shoes. That's all my lessons and I hope you can learn something from here. Thanks for watching and have a good day.